Yes, yes, everyone, it's Vlad's Boredom and welcome to my latest boop, 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 boop vlog. And today I'm traveling again, and yeah, it's already the third time in a row, and it will be going to Belgrade again. I still have to do some fixes with my teeth, like something did not go well, and I have yet to do it again. But now, after I finish the exams and all that stuff, I have enough time for this, so I will be going now again for a four-day trip, and this time I will fly with another airline, and it will be EasyJet. I flew the last time with EasyJet in 2014 when I went to Copenhagen. I have to be honest, that was probably one of the best flights I've ever had. It is 10.14 in the morning, and my flight will depart in around 30 minutes. 25 minutes around this. I think that you are going to see me when I'm in Belgrade, so see you then. Right guys, so as you can see, I'm here in the hotel room. I'm sorry that it is quite late now, it is around half past 10, but it doesn't deter me from making a room tour now. I had a quite an exhausting day, I've been to the dentist and I did one teeth really and afterwards I met my auntie, went to her, had um, sort of dinner and then I went out later with some random people whom I met through my auntie which are all around my age and had a great night out and went for some drinks. The streets are quite full with um, snow, it doesn't look really good. I'm going to make tomorrow a lot more content but before we do that I want to show you my hotel room so as you can see here is the AC and heater control and right when we get in here there is the bathroom here is the huge mirror there I got some stuff of mine perfume toothbrush uh, hair dryer and here are the soap a shower cap and what else do we have here shoe polish hygiene kit a sewing kit a body milk shampoo shower gel um, towels and a towel for the floor here is the toilet and this is the shower and it looks really clean however when you look up there you see it looks a little bit cheap though and here as well, but this is just cosmetics. And this is the door. So that it has this kind of color and here is like a small gap. And now let's go towards the room. There is the TV. Got some music st a music station, aka IDJ TV, which you can also live stream on the internet. This is the fridge. The desk, a chair. A water cooker and some snacks and glasses. This is the minibar price list. Oh yeah, I really love that song. No, not Losh Mamak. This song is called Maniac and it is by Vuk Mob and Trike Fix. It's one of my favorite Balkan songs, I have to admit that. And this is the wardrobe. As you can see, I already put my stuff in here. There is also a safe, a laundry bag. And here I got also some other stuff in the wardrobe. My jackets, my hoodies, my suitcase, and here I even got some slippers for the shower or for the room. This is the bed. I actually wanted a single room, there I still got two beds, so I can easily jump on the bed like this. <laughs> the bed is really comfortable, it's not too firm and it's not so soft. It's around medium, I think it's cozy. And there are, for every bed, there are two pillows. And here you got also a mirror. And here I got some stuff from mine and my boots as well. That was it with the room tour and I'm going to see you tomorrow. Now I'm going just to relax, have a shower, watch some TV, watch some awesome music videos. Stay tuned, see you tomorrow. Dobro jutro, boker tov, and good morning, day two, let's go. So guys, as you can see, this is my OOTD. I'm going to visit some 
sites in Belgrade which I've never visited before in the morning and in the afternoon at 1 p.m. I'm going to the dentist and afterwards I'm going to meet again with my auntie and spend some time with her family going to the mall and eat something. Let's go outside. In the Knez Mihalova street there weren't a lot of people around so I went to a bus stop nearby. Buses in Belgrade come quite frequently and they are the most reliable form out of all the public transport modes in the city. I paid for my 3-day pass just 740 dinars. You can get a ticket at any kiosk around the city by just asking for a so-called Bus Plus ticket. When you get the ticket, make sure you validate it on the ticket reader. For further information, I put a link about the Bus Plus system and the map with all the public transport lines inside Belgrade below into the description. I guess you've been wondering why I am now in this communist style neighborhood? Well, I can give you soon the answer. I can tell you that here you've got one of uh, the typical iconic Belgrade buildings which are not in the city center and I wanted always to visit them but I always drove past through them. If you've seen some of my vlogs from before, we're going to take a closer look now. As you can see, this is the whole building and on the left side you see there are a lot of apartments and no, you can notably recognize them on the split aircon units outside of the, whoa, <laughs> of the building. Well, here uh, you see some offices. I don't know if they're still operational, but I see lights in there and here it looks like as if there is a fountain or something. I believe that this place has seen a lot of better days in the past than today. And we're going to take a brief look around this building. It looks like as if it's completely abandoned, even though it's not. And if you take a closer look when you go up, you see that it's very, very tall. And I'm really afraid to, lo uh, to look up. I'm actually afraid of heights. It's enormously tall, seriously. I cannot even look by myself. Uh. <laughs> Careful, the, the path here is slippy. It's winter time, better come here in the summer when it's warmer, because here it's just awful. But there's one big benefit, there are hardly any tourists. Also here was supposed to be on the top of the building a uh, revolving restaurant but now this whole air area just looks deserted. You see there are also a lot of other communist style buildings but this one is just a big 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 masterpiece of brutalism and here even this mural it looks amazing really good definitely amazing apparently what I've seen there is that in this door people actually entered the building but I don't think that I should get in because maybe some people will tell me no uh, filming is not permitted or something like that it's around 11 a.m. now there are Obviously not a lot of people here around, but for me this is completely okay. What I'm going to do now is just have a walk and discover some other beauties of that part of the city. If you see those three minivans back there, all these three Citroën Sour Picassos, I'm thinking like, oh god damn, what, what kind of fun has been driving that car? I mean, I learned on that car how to drive and even though it was basically a minivan and more of a family than a style car. It was actually pr a pretty good car and it never let me alone. Walking further down through Novi Beograd, I came across with some other communist blocks, commercial buildings like shops and car dealerships and also some office buildings. Novi Beograd was originally a city planned to accommodate a lot of people after the Second World War, as there was a huge housing shortage in the city. From a dormitory back in the communist times, Novi Beograd became one of the most desired parts today to live in a city with an abundance of parks, malls, wide roads and great public transport connections. I arrived at the tram stop right in front of the Delta City Mall and entered the tram. 
I luckily found a seed and started filming some of the newer and some older blocks and some other places of interest, such as the Savat Santa. Just before going over the bridge to the older part of Belgrade, you could see that there is a former concentration camp which was built by the Nazis in the Second World War. Trams in Belgrade are a great mode for riding through the city and doing sort of a time travel through the recent past, but they can sometimes have huge problems. Actually, what I wanted to show you is how I'm riding the tram, but because there is an accident further up there, uh, I cannot proceed my travel and now I need to find a way how I can get back to Kalimegdan. I'm here at one of the busiest places here inside the town, the railway station of Belgrade. And now I need to cross the street. Yeah, we'll see how I will get there. I finished with the dentist, I paid him and I think that I'm going again to the dentist in around two months time because he's not done yet he has yet to do <laughs> I'm going now to my auntie and in the morning I've been with the bus and with the tram and this time I'm going to take another mode of transport it is a trolley bus typically for Eastern European cities Belgrade got also a trolley bus system the main benefit of them is that they are silent powered on electricity and that they are really quick all trolley bus lines meet at the Studenski Trg, just a few minutes away from the Knez Mikhailova, and from there you can travel to various parts in Belgrade. Just as the trams and buses, Bus Plus is here valid as well. I took a ride with it and drove around the huge Slavia roundabout with the huge fountain in the center. I'm wondering if this dude in front of me is drunk. But he seriously looks like as if he is. I have to admit that this is probably one of the worst scenarios what you can ever experience. I'm just uh, not freezing, but it is uh, really uncomfortable when you uh, are here outside and it is snowing, your camera gets wet, everything gets wet, and cars uh, pass by. Not really a pleasant feeling. So everyone, as you can see, we had here some really nice food from KFC and it was the first time that my little cousin Anthony, or in Serbian Antonie, I call him just Tony, uh, ate KFC. So what do you think from KFC? Do you like it? Yes. So do you think it is better than McDonald's? Yes. Kind of, yeah. So we actually enjoyed it and yeah, from now on, only KFC, right? Od sada samo KFC, zar ne? That's right. And yet now what we're going to do is just have a look how the shopping mall is. Yeah, we're going to have a fun time and see you later. Stadion is one of the six western-style shopping malls in Belgrade and is located in the southern part of the city. It has many low and mid-range shops, which seems not so special, but the special thing is that the mall is right below a football stadium, which is unique for any kind of mall. Also, a few music videos were filmed here, such as La Miami by MC Stoyan, which was the most popular Balkan song in 2018. It is winter wonderland time here in Belgrade. There right on top is the stadium and here's the mall. And I got something to drink here, a milkshake. Yeah, I've been to McDonald's because of the KFC, haven't had any. But this doesn't matter now, I'm enjoying here while snowing. And it's not even that cold, it's actually really cool. Food at in the bus <laughs> later when I went on the trolley bus back to my hotel my friend Eva Malchinski started a YouTube live stream and I watched it directly inside the bus go and check her out she even does videos in English her Instagram and YouTube channel are in my description even though I enjoyed the ride on the trolley bus it didn't last long until something stupid happened so as you can see there is a huge, 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 huge problem a lot of snow and the tram got stuck and now I have to get into a trolley into another trolley bus and it's so cold I even thought about to call a cab I hope I can arrive safe get my hotel because I'm totally fed up with this yeah let's get into this one look 
Go, go, go. <laughs> So guys, I have to tell you, I'm so exhausted. I came back into the hotel room at around um, half past 11 and I have to t say I didn't expect that it will be so snowy. I just wanted also to show you how it looks outside of my room. That's my view outside. And as you can see, there is not even a single soul out on the Knez Mikhailova. So we will see how the day tomorrow will be and until then good night good morning everyone Bokertov, Dobro Jutro, Kalimera, whatever it's not even morning anymore it is it's 11 48 it's almost 12 o'clock I overslept I actually wanted to wake up at 9 but Probably I was so tired that I needed to sleep a little bit longer and now what I'm going to do is now Dress up have a shower and Then go outside get breakfast and then explore a little bit some of the touristy parts of the city Yesterday we did the less touristy parts and now we're going to visit the touristy parts <sighs> The next day featured a lot of snow and as I was on my way to Kalemegdan there were a few tourists out there and the souvenir booths were open as well. In the summer this place is full of locals and tourists enjoying the fortress but I felt here like as if I had this place almost all alone for me. From one point you have a magnificent view towards the other side of Belgrade with the Ushche Tower in the background. Later that afternoon I made my way towards the trolley bus and took a ride towards Hyde Park to visit a special place. Yep, Belgrade got the Hyde Park too. No, not those communist style blocks, but the museum about the history of Yugoslavia. The ticket price was just 200 dinars and I entered a place which was like no other.
So I've been inside this beautiful house where Tito and his wife Jovan Cabros were buried and I have had a really nice conversation with one of the security security guards there. He was uh, definitely a Yugo nostalgic person and I got some insights what uh, how the life was today and be compared to the past in Yugoslavia itself and you can clearly see that here inside Serbia that uh, people there are they are proudly Yugo nostalgic especially the older generation one but Nowadays, uh, young people, they don't understand how the life was back then. I don't want to get too deep into this political topic, but it is really beautiful to see how a country was in the past compared with today. After a long hassle and wasting time while waiting for the public transport, I called a cab and drove in only 5 minutes to Delta City. Delta City is a huge shopping mall in Novi Beograd, featuring a huge variety of stores with local and international brands. Compared to malls in Switzerland, which are usually full on a Saturday, especially when there are sales, Delta City looks almost every day average full with not too many people inside. Maybe this because malls in Belgrade are open from 10 to 10 every single day. So my dear ones, got some stuff ready here, went some shopping in another mall, I'm going to show you later on the mall how it looks from the outside and some of the surroundings. Here I found some stuff what I really wanted to have and it was for a really cheap price because they're ongoing sales and they're really really good. In the meantime what happened is that the dude who was a security guard, he, he didn't throw me out but he just advised me that I should not film inside the center. But yeah, I was anyway about to leave and I didn't care, for me it was okay and it is nothing special over there because the center is like quite boring but it has got a lot of fancy stores and so on and got a great, a really nice food court. But yeah, this doesn't matter. Wow, that was a pleasant night. And what is even more awesome? I have to be awake at 6 a.m. And, and I'm not even tired yet. Can you imagine that? I will do something now and yeah, we'll see. I'm going to take a shower. Let's see what it's going to be. I'm going to prepare my luggage. I've got tons of stuff which I'm going to take with me. Food, clothes every kind of stuff what you can imagine. It was a really pleasant time now in the club. I didn't imagine that I would even go there and I've met surprisingly on the reception two random people. They are also Swiss and what I can say is that uh, they are from Basel and they also came for the same reason as I did. The dentist because it's uh, significantly cheaper here. I really enjoyed the time here with them and if I didn't meet them I probably would bore myself here in the hotel room. I didn't expect that uh, Belgrade club life was so expensive. We paid for around 12 shots, um, 2,000 dinars, and then for two um, vodka Red Bulls for them it was, and then around 2,700 it was just a huge ripoff. It was a nice insight to see, but the next time if I go to a club here in Belgrade and I would go together with a local that would be actually a better idea but for now I pack my suitcase and I take a shower I hope that I will wake up at 6 a.m. and if not 
Well then, hard luck. Good night. Good morning, my dear ones. And as you can see, I am here on the bus terminus. Nothing with a taxi, forget it. I'm basically broke. I cannot exchange my money anywhere. And the only thing what I can do is now travel with my three-day card with the bus until the airport. And cross my fingers that I will come on, come on time. The estimated time of the journey will be around 30 minutes. I just hope that the, that the bus will come on time unless something happens. And if something happens, then I'm going to withdraw some money and pay a cab because this is uh, then totally unbearable and I need to be definitely on time for the plane before it departs and I have to be there at least one, uh, one and a half an hour before the plane departs at the airport I cross my fingers that everything will come alright I finally arrived this red bus brought me all the way from Zeleny Venets to this airport and what I wanted to show you is now the refurbished Terminal 1. But that is uh, probably not a place where I have to go. I need to go to the other terminal in order to get to the gates. And I have to hurry up because I need to go to gate A3. And I still have one and a half hours in order to get there. I hope everything will be alright. That was it from my side, I hope you came until the end of this vlog and enjoyed it. I managed to come safely home and I enjoyed my time in Belgrade, even though it would have been for other people unbearable to travel under such weather conditions. Leave me a like and also leave me a sub, that would be really cool from you. What kind of signs do you want to see when I go the next time to Belgrade? Write it down in the comments below, I'm ready for your inputs. Until then, stay tuned and I hope to see you the next time. Bye bye!